Ah, so you've arrived at last. And it seems that we have entered the ninth of, of spring. What spring again? Oh yes, Noel's birthday. No mail for us. However, we must spread our fertilizer before we forget. Which is more often than we'd like to admit. Well, so far so good. Only one serious blunder in this run so far. And that was after we put seed in, in, in seed, radish seeds in the ground, we uh, destroyed them. So that puts that patch of ground, ground, the crop back a day, since we didn't put seeds right back into there, which we should have. But I think the accident happened after stores were closed, which happens after the 18th hour. Well, let's see what Mr. Egbert has for us. Oh, an egg. Very nice. A chicken likes to be picked up and put down every day, so that's what we do. An old cowsy wowsy likes a good pet, likes a fine brush, and likes a good milking. Ta da! Right. Radishes are done, the late one, and grass got to be harvested. So it's the ninth of spring into the second week of the month and we could put more plants in the ground. At least one more plant. I wonder what should it be? Okay, I think we can water without passing out this one. And then we'll have these three potatoes on top to worry about afterwards. Here's a bug. And we will scan the area for any sightings of more bugs or items and potential trees to cut down next after that one on the outside is fouled. Hello, Caddo. And good morning, Doggo. Looking healthy today. The foxes I don't care much about. They don't seem to appreciate me picking them up and down. Putting, back, putting them back down, you know, it's, ooh, but this is one dog that deserves some love. Butterfly thing. Butterfly! Oh, just a swallowtail. We already found one of those. Megan's house has a dog named Buddy in it, as you saw in previous episodes. But uh, Buddy is such a bro that um, he deserves all the attention he gets. Oh, sweet branch. That's good. Wave hi to Frank as we go along and harvest the rest of these pink lupine. Always bugs and cool things over this way. Novice forager. Good, good, good. That's from picking all these wild plants after they regurgitate. Here we go. Part time job. Five egg. Flower. Do we have any flowers? No. Oh, this is the one, man. This pays a lot of money. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. We... What did it want? Five egg? Do we have that? Ooh, I think we do. I think we have perfectly five eggs. Yes. Sorry to get rid of all my eggs, but money's money. Foraging, and then I think 
we will duck into the mailbox before noon. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? <laughs> do we do it? Ah, we did. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. You've picked the right person to help you out, Cave Cricket, even though there's no cave. Which is a pity, because I like the caves in this game. But it was not to be. Hector gets some mail? That's a rare thing. Where is Hector? Hmm. What do we need? We need more. Oh, we, we've got seeds. Hmm. Hector's not here yet. So let's pull some weeds. Thank you, Ford. I love weeds. Funny how these weeds weren't here when I passed by this place earlier today. But for the sake of the mission or whatever, that would be cool to have dynamic, like, weeds growing and then... But, you know, they just generates random weeds when there needs to be in that area there, so... Eh, that's kind of dumb. All of the part-time jobs are kind of dumb in this game, but wood cutting, oh, heck, that's the worst offender of them all. So let's save, because we want to kind of juke out the system here when we go for the medical test subject job, because uh, we could get a bunch of hearts from this instead of having to pay Brad an exorbitant amount of money. So all we just do want is maximum hearts Let's go with orange. Okay. Whoops. Ah, <gasps> ooh, nice. Wait, isn't that time go passes faster? The orange arrow up? Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah, time is definitely going faster. We could reset. Yeah, I don't like when time goes so fast. The day will be over before you know it. So now we've uh, reloaded and we're back here about to pick the job. We're just gonna pick the job again and go for a different choice. Okay, um, hmm, orange was last time. Let's go for light blue. Yes, that should be full stamina. All right, good luck, very good luck. I think full hearts at this point is more important than a perk, even though that time passing by quicker isn't a good perk kind of is in this situation because days are a little bit too long because there's nothing to do. Okay, remember what we were doing. We were shipping all of our eggs and then looking for Hector. How much more fertilizer we got? Six? That's plenty. Okay. Where is Hector? Ah, oh, there he is. He's got a star above his head. And here's the mail, my lad. Bravo. Good, good, good. It's Monday today, nobody's birthday. And one, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Now let's water the rest of our crops. It's supposed to be done before noon. What are we thinking? 
This is our morning chores, and here it is, the afternoon. But it would be super importantly good to get this tree down, so let's spend the rest of our stamina on this here tree. That is quite a sturdy tree. Well, we don't have any stamina left to plant this uh, radish seed here. So I guess we'll just wait. We'll put these four seed seeds in when these potatoes are all done on this top row. In the meantime, I suppose we're pretty much done for the day. Three more fertilizer to go for tomorrow and the next day we'll use up the six we have in our bag. We didn't do any fishing today, I don't think, but that's okay. Ah, there's so many sprites on the screen. Everyone depart, go away. Hi, Marco and Megan. Those two seem to get along. I wonder if there's not something going on between those rascals. Oh, Doctor. Thank you for giving me good stamina. As a token of my thanks, kindly accept this piece of mint that I found growing on the ground in my farm. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, Lazette. <laughs> You're looking more lovely today than usual. The only thing that could improve your remarkable beauty is this moondrop flower. Um, got her. Okay, so pet the cat and cross the bridge. Say hello. Where's that dog? Hello, dog. It's Noel's birthday today. Isn't that isn't that true? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What should we give Noel? It wasn't yesterday that it was her birthday, right? So let's let's save it in case she hates flowers. I think she would be good with a moondrop flower. Oh. Birthday present for me. Yay, thanks, ghost. Hmm. She didn't seem super thrilled. How would she fare with the pink lupine? Oh, oh, she likes those much better. Okay, good, good, good. All right, made her happy on her birthday. That's what it's all about, folks. Um, yeah, we don't have any flowers. We might have flowers by tomorrow. Nah, I don't think so. Day after tomorrow, flowers take forever. Flowers. Hmm, I should buy more flower seeds. I really should, because her store won't be open tomorrow. However, the next town is going to open up pretty soon, in a couple of days. So, I don't want to overwhelm myself with the workload. Well, folks, it's time to pack it in for the day. Not very eventful, but it's a living. Yeah, we have to probably pitchfork tomorrow. That will set us back quite a bit, as it did last time. Anyways, I think that's all for today. We can retire early. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing but Wayne and Marco's birthday are coming up. Did Marco already have a birthday? Who was it that then? Oh, it was Hector. All right. We'll save that. 
and then we will see you in the next episode. Bye.